Every year, Nigeria loses about 351,000 hectares of land to emerging desert encroachment. In the northern part of the country, deforestation and desert encroachment are some of the problems the people battle with. It is the same situation in the southeast where many communities are facing eviction due to erosion. In the Niger Delta region, gas flaring, oil spillage and ocean surge are also posing huge environmental and health challenges. While population explosion has also led to increased quests for farming and grazing of animals, other human activities are affected. The film presentation on Nigeria's climate and environmental crisis, titled Nowhere to Run, produced by Shehu Musa Yaradua Center, tells the story about climate change as it affects Nigeria. The European ambassador who explains that climate change does not affect Africa alone but the entire universe stresses the need for the Nigerian government to come up with effective laws and policies to deal with the issues. It's something that is really global. Uh, it is something that is irreversible and it's something that is uncertain. So it's global in, in the sense that it does affect the entire humanity. So it's not only a problem for developing countries. In a way, the climate change makes us all developing countries. We are all concerned, right? Some of us are more concerned than others, but we are all concerned. Kaduna State Governor Nasir El Rufai talked about the need for every citizen to understand the dangers of climate change. Conscious of the fact that the rate at which the desert is moving, if we don't do something, it will get to us. And this is why this executive council decided to do the 535 kilometers of shelter belt along our borders with Kazina, Niger, and Kano State. We are working on that project. It's in our budget for this year, and we hope to plant economic trees like cashews and shea butter uh, along the 535 kilometer frontier with the states that are nearer the problem of desertification. The highlight of the events is the symbolic planting of trees by the EU ambassador, Governor El Rufai, and wife of late head of state, Adjoke Murtala Mohammed, and other dignitaries. Nigeria accounts for one-sixth of gas flaring in the world. That's according to the Nigerian Environmental Study Action Team report. What they say is largely responsible for some health issues like cancer and leukemia. Perhaps the efforts to reverse the effects of the negative trend will be reached.